Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today is Friday, that means it's another Coaster Friday. And today we're doing Wizard of Oz coasters. Why you ask? Because, 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 because I picked Ruel 77's idea out of the fishbowl. So the Wizard of Oz has a lot of great characters, so I try to include a lot of them. I actually did four coasters. Um, the four main characters traveling down the yellow brick road. I got a flying monkey, the Wicked Witch of the West, um, an iconic scene, and I got the Munchkins and Glinda because she was awesome. I have mixed my Easy Cast resin and I needed four ounces because I need one ounce for each base. I'm making four coasters. Three of them are going to have a white background and one is going to have kind of a stormy gray background. So I've already divided it into four cups. I'm going to add a little bit of white pigment. All right, I'm going to pour those right into the mold. For the final one, I'm going to just pour it right on in here, just like this. Take my lighter, pop the bubbles. I'll do that on the white ones as well. I'm going to take a little bit of this kind of reddish, and I'll do that. I have a gray and a dark gray, and I'm going to follow up kind of a, I guess it's kind of a silver. And here's the darker. And I'll spread them around, kind of mix them around a little bit, just like this. And then let these sit for 12 hours, and then we'll come back. I'm working with the transparency film because I don't know how to do the Wizard of Oz justice without it. So, we have our little flying monkey. And when I was a kid, we had a little neighborhood production of the Wizard of Oz. And my sister, she was cast as Glinda the Good Witch because who, what little girl wouldn't want to be cast as Glinda the Good Witch. I, on the other hand, got cast as a munchkin and a flying monkey. Now I want to offset the monkey a little off to the side so because I'm going to have the Wicked Witch in front. So when I cut it, I'm using my cutter and I'll have this and the, the mold linked in the description below. And with this cutter, sometimes you need to go around two or three times. And then I've got the Munchkins background. And then we've got the Emerald City and the Ruby Red Slippers. Now, if you remember, we had some issues with um, the border when I did the Halloween Creepy Coasters. So this time I'm going to try to do something a little bit different. I just have some acrylic paint. I have some very light green. And I'm going to just paint it now, right along the edge. And I'm going to do this one for the Emerald City. Paint the back of the monkey with gray acrylic paint. I did green around the one and the gray around the others, and I didn't have to do anything on this one. So now I get to start putting um, the pieces in, and I did the white just because that way I don't have to paint the backgrounds of these other ones. So I'm going to put about an ounce into each one. So I'm going to hit this with the lighter, pop the bubbles, slide the Emerald City in, just like that. Take my stir stick, press it down. I'm going to get all the bubbles out from underneath. Once you get the bubbles out from underneath all of these, pop your bubbles, let them sit, and let them cure. I have my images printed and now I'm going to cut them out. I'm going to do a little painting. I'm going to do black on the Wicked Witch's dress, but the rest I'm going to do with an ivory. So I painted the backs of all of them, so I'm going to put an ounce in each. Let the bubbles rise to the top, hit it with your lighter. Here we have Dorothy, the Cowardly Lion, the Scarecrow, and the Tin Man. Here we've got Glinda with the munchkins behind. Here we've got the ruby slippers when the house fell on the witch. And here's the Wicked Witch of the West with me in the background. Be sure to let me know which one you like the best in the comments below. And who is your favorite character 
in the Wizard of Oz. Okay, it is time to pick from the fishbowl. Okay, it's Morget 8523 and it is a Nightmare Before Christmas coaster. So that's what I'm going to be doing next week. Now I kind of feel like I haven't done enough Halloween coasters because we're picking different coaster ideas and Halloween is coming up really fast. The only entries I want is something Halloween related. You know, whether it be a pumpkin or a witch or whatever. And if somebody's already added that idea, add it again. It doesn't matter. Um, but I want to fill up the fishbowl with Halloween ideas because that is my last chance before Halloween um, to be doing a Halloween coaster. So leave that in the comments below and I will pick it next week. We'll see you next time. In the meantime, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing and watch some of my other videos. We'll see you next time. In the meantime, stay safe and happy crafting. Thank you for watching.